Hello folks, um, if you guys asked me about uh, how close can I uh, dial in my tailstock and uh, what is the run out on the uh, Precision Matthews 1440 uh, gunsmithing Taiwan lathe or PM1440 GT lathe. Um, so I'm going through this exercise uh, by request. Um, here I mounted the uh, five and a half to three uh, more say G G T um, conversion sleeve. Um, this whole five and a half is kind of a hack. I think they, they, they came up with it. It's a, a step size between the five and six uh, size Morse taper. And then it accepts the three Morse taper uh, on its uh, ID. So I have a uh, precision ground bar um, mounted over here. It's about a foot long. And uh, just to let you know how precision ground it is, it's within five tenths, or I'm sorry, uh, within two tenths, um, within two ten thousandths of an inch, uh, one end to another end. Uh, I think this end being uh, a little bit uh, looser tolerance, uh, deviating from uh, the nominal more than this, this end right here. So I have a uh, Mitutoyo um, tenths indicator um, right here. Uh, again, it's, uh, as you can see, one, uh, one tick is one ten thousandths of an inch. Um, it is uh, loaded to one full revolution, uh, so preloaded, and uh, the arrow is right now exactly is at zero. So just to, uh, to show you the deviation on this end, uh, I'm gonna rotate the uh, round and you can see that it's about almost two, thousand, uh, two tenths in each way, maybe three. Uh, so it deviates from zero, almost two in one way, almost two tenths in the other way. So uh, about four total, maybe three and a half. So uh, right now what I'm gonna do is uh, Gonna kind of put it in the center, and and I'm gonna slide to the middle of the bar. Uh, again, we're still preloaded, so we're about uh, midway through. As you can see, we're pretty much in exactly same spot that we were on uh, the left end of the bar. Uh, I'm gonna uh, rotate again, uh, and you can see the deviation now is more within two tenths or one and a half tenths. Uh, it doesn't really go uh, past the zero point much. Uh, right. To be fair, maybe two to two and a half tenths. Uh, then I'm gonna slide even more um, to this end right here. Pretty much uh, almost as far as I can go. Again, we're still on the zero mark and uh, I'm gonna start the rotation again just so you can see how tight we are and here we're basically deviating about a tenth each way so two tenths all together uh, and uh, you might ask how did I dial in the tail stock so conventional weight I have an allen wrench on one side and uh, another Allen wrench on the other side. You have to rotate them um, kind of in the same direction, uh, either towards you both or uh, away from you both at the same time, uh, which cause, causes one of them to close, one of them to open, and that effectively controls uh, the offset of the tailstock left or right off of the center axis uh, of the spindle. So as you can see right now, it's pretty dialed in and you could also see that I am in fully locked position. So um, let's see just how, what's gonna happen when I loosen, uh, when I loosen the tailstock and I actually travel off, off, off the ground bar altogether just to see what amount of deviation uh, I'm gonna get. So here I am, I just took it off the lock. It's still exactly where it is. And right now, I'm just gonna uh, turn the wheel to, uh, to get away. So you can see I'm off of it completely. Uh, again, if I, if I project that back in, I'm 
within two tenths, just a little bit under two tenths, um, maybe two tenths to be fair. Uh, and now I'm going to, yes, with uh, this kind of uh, loose hanging uh, piece of ground stock, I'm just going to give it a little rotation again, just to see how much it deviates. And we are, as you can see, within one full rotation, we uh, have total run out uh, TIR of about two tenths on this end, uh, maybe one and a half tenths. Um, so that's how you dial it in.